Yo, this is MC Light. Right now, you're checking out Rain. Hi, everyone. I'm Rain, and you are watching the Five Element series. And I'm here with DJ Clark Kent. He actually curated the exhibit that we're here to see today at the Bishop Gallery. It's called the Holy, Holy Christopher Robey Knowledge of Wallace. Yes. Period. We're just celebrating Biggie, and uh, I have a few questions. You are DJ Clark Kent, so this is the 20th anniversary. I'm ready to die. You could have done you work with Biggie, and you work with um, the Mafia and everyone else. And you could have done like a mixtape or anything else like that, but you brought like an element of hip hop, which is art. This is a great exhibit, and I want to know what, what was your inspiration for doing this exhibit? Respectfully, Notorious B.I.G., George, Christopher George, and Tom Wallace, uh, Biggie, whomever you might call him, I call him Cena, he's a friend, and I actually loved him. So when they thought came to do something that represented the 20th anniversary, art-wise, when I was spoken to about it, it was, it was practically impossible for me to say no. So it was just too easy. So how did it actually come about? Um, the guys who own um, on Bishop on, on Bedford. I did a show here with my daughter's pieces and it sold out an hour and a half, really nice. And then the conversation came up, yo, we want to do something that speaks to the you know, would I be a part of it? And I was like, yeah, I love it. You know what I'm saying? So if they, once they said that I could do the picking, I was like, yeah, I want to be the curator. I want to pick the pieces because I want them to actually be as good as the talent that they possess. So how did you come about? Like there's so there's so many amazing paintings here, and not just paintings, there's paintings, there's a lot of different artwork. So how did you go about just deciding what was everything? Everything that I looked at, you know, it was a, it was it's, first of all, it was a ton more. But everything that I looked at, if it didn't like hit me here, it, it didn't get on the wall. So it had to make me feel. That somehow it had to make me feel something. If it didn't make me feel something, it wasn't in the wall. And everything I looked at, the idea was these people are putting in representations of my God. So if you're putting a representation of the greatest rapper of all time, the greatest rapper. Ever. Uh oh, you heard it from DJ Clark and he said the greatest rapper ever, period. If you're if you're if you're putting in if you're submitting something to represent that guy to show a respect, then what you do has to be stuff. You can't just scribble scrabble. You can't throw me a sketch that was you know. Yes, cool. It's your representation. It's what you felt. But when I was picking, I wanted it to go. I wanted it to say I understood what this guy meant to me. And it's like it's like I said, it's a, it's a great representation. A lot of different, different uh, paintings and knittings, and just there's a there's a, a piece with records. It's just really great. And I that think really did a really great job. Oh, of course, <laughs> you didn't do that piece though, right? No, no, no. <laughs> so you wanted to scratch the records when you were looking at. <laughs> but um, it to me it was creative, and as a DJ, it meant a lot to me. Considering the records they used were baby records, so that that's all to me, very much. So I like that you have, you said you have the exhibit with your daughters and you have this exhibit now, so you definitely have to... Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, I, I can appreciate craftsmanship as a producer. Right. Making records and DJing is an art. So I can look at other forms of art and have an appreciation for it. And it's, a, it's just something that happens to you when you look at things, when you visualize things, and when you uh, the connection you get when you see a piece, right. that's, that's you loving up the art. And I think anybody can have a, a connection to something. If, if there's a story to tell, if there's a story to tell when they're looking at something, they might get a story, and that story will connect to them. Exactly. So everyone, it's at the Bishop Gallery in Bedford, on, on Bedford Avenue, yep. Ben's side. Yep. And oh, yeah. they sit the until October 17th. Curated by DJ Clark and myself. As we're leaving, I just want to ask, like, you know, let people know what else you're working on. You always want to know. Well, I have a web series on Complex on the Complex, oh, Complex. Network um, yeah. called Quick Strike. We talk about sneakers. Mm, I'm, I'm still trying to live the world, DJing. I guess that's why I'm getting to sleep. <laughs> 
about to explain. And I'm supposed to get sleep. Well, no, I don't need sleep. Sleep and I'm dead. Uh, and I'm about to explain. Get a picture of Rock Kim. Sorry, I love Rock Kim. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? I absolutely. I met him on my on my birthday last year, and it was like the best birthday gift ever. I'm so excited that you're. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna look out for that. I'm glad I asked. <laughs> I have no idea how excited I am about this. Well, thank we you. We gotta make sure we get you to oh, Yes! <laughs> so, again, I'm Rain. I didn't mean to throw her off her, her, her tilt right now. <laughs> this is the Five Element Series. And, okay, oh actually, quick question because it is a Five Element Series. So, we always ask, um, Five, five key things. So since you're a DJ and you're a producer, five key elements that someone would want to be a DJ or producer would be. It's only one. Only one. Only one. Only one. Only one. Only one. They have to love the music. Period. Like, don't become a DJ because you can technically DJ. Uh, don't become a DJ because there, there could be some cool money attached to it. Become a DJ because you love the music. That way, when you play, you'll tell a story every time you play. And your emotion will come across in the way you play. And if you don't have the emotion, people walk away and they don't feel like you're great. Thank you, DJ Clark Kent. Again, I'm Rain, Five Elements Series, Ace.